Hello, my friends. Very, very happy to be here today. And uh, very happy because today I'm sure about what I'm going to say. That uh, AFD is the future of Germany and is the future for Germany. Congratulations on your 10th work of anniversary. I, thank you. I, I, I have to say this coming from Portugal. Unfortunately, I have seen uh, your Chancellor Schultz a lot of times in different places in Europe. And I have to say this, I know you will believe and you will agree with me. Schultz, it's the worst Chancellor Germany ever had. It's the worst Chancellor Germany ever had. The worst. The worst Chancellor. And even, and even with all these concessions to the Green Party and to the Green European parties, in a country like Germany, where industry is the most important thing you, you have in our, your own history, it's like driving a car and being blind. I think you have a German expression for that, and I think I will use it. Tomaten of den Augen Aben. Like that. But I'm also very happy to be here for the first time in, uh, in an AFD Congress or movement because you suffer the same we suffer in Portugal and in Spain and in France. They say we are radicals, that we are fascists, that we are homophobics, that we are radicals. But today I was thinking about that. If you think in Germany this happens all the time, when the police officer is attacked, when a police officer is beaten up or spanked, no one cares, nobody cares. But if an illegal immigrant be beaten or lives in poverty or something like that, it's a terrible public outrage and indignation. This is the country that we don't believe. We are not against immigration, but we don't believe in a country and in the world and in a Europe that says to the immigrants that they can come, they have houses, they get wages and they get paid into our own people. We don't have anything to give to them. That's what we feel in our country. Yes, if we say, if we say there are too many mosques in Berlin or in Munich or in Lisbon or in Madrid, it's a public indignation. They say you are racist. You are xenophobes, you don't like Islamics. But when in Saudi Arabia or in Pakistan they close churches and they burn down the churches, nobody cares and nobody says it's impossible or it's illegal. That's the difference between our parties in our country. When we defend family and family policies, they say we are old fashioned. When we try to protect our kids, our children, of sexual content at the schools, pornography at the schools like we have today, they say we are radicals. But if being radical is defending our children, is defending the kids of our families, so we are radicals and we are proud to be radicals in Europe about that. We are very proud of that. You know, it's an interesting world, this world we are living in. They say we have to, to have solidarity with migrants and refugees. And we understand that. But then, when we see all these mainstream media, at night, they show that you should, be solid, you should have solidarity with these migrants coming from Mediterranean and coming from Africa and the Middle East. And we know we should. But our eyes must be first put in our country because we cannot continue having this refugees in campaign. Everybody that comes has the right to a house, has the right to a job, has the right to a pension, has the right to a family house. But those who work here in Germany for all their lives or in Portugal, or in Spain, or in France, they live in misery and the government just look to the other side and don't think about them. This is the world we don't believe. 
This is the world we don't believe. This is the world we don't believe. One, one, one in five German women, one in five German women are at risk of poverty in the old age. One at five. In France, 15% of the old people depend on charity, of churches and other institutions. In Portugal, 16%, 16% of the pensioners are in, at risk of poverty. So they say to us in Brussels, you have to have solidarity. You have to give your own money to those coming from the other parts of the world. And we should and we could. But first we have to give to our grandparents and to our parents and to our families because they work for it. Because they work for it. That's the world we believe. And AFD is the part of that world we believe. I would not be happy with myself today if I wouldn't congratulate the AFD leadership because today AFD will become part of the ID European Party and that's a great, great news for the world, for Europe and for Germany as well. German, German friends, European friends, let's stay together, let's work together, and together I'm sure we will defeat socialists, social democrats, communists, all kinds of socialists, the Eurocrats in Brussels, we will defeat them all, but we have to stay together, and if we stay together, Europe will be our ground world will be ours because together we'll be stronger than any other movement in the world ever be. The right-wing parties in Europe are the future of this Europe. AFD is future of this Europe and we will conquer Europe in the future because Europe belongs to the right-wing parties. I, my friends, like we say in Portugal, the future belongs to us. And I think in German you say, Die Zukunft gehört uns. Thank you very much. God bless you. And God bless Germany. Thank you.